The city of Yellowknife is defending itself this week. It recently turned down a nonprofit's plan to build a daycare in the Niven neighborhood. It says safety is a key problem. A local cycling and transit advocate agrees, but has some ideas on how to move forward. The CBC's Lini Lambrink has the story. The home in question is 101 Hainer Drive. It's in Niven, a residential neighborhood in Yellowknife. YWCA NWT says it's invested tens of thousands of dollars so far, preparing to turn the space into a daycare for 32 kids. The city's decision to reject that plan has this cycling and transit advocate scratching his head. First of all, right here, it's kind of right in the heart of Niven, right? So for being in a position to service this, this neighborhood, it's an excellent spot, right? Denley does share the city's concerns about traffic. The home is on a corner at the intersection of three streets. A city planning document says there's limited parking, the absence of a crosswalk makes it inherently unsafe, and the visibility isn't good. But Denley says there are easy ways to fix that. Right, so we have this beautiful open park space with the playground over there and the community garden there and the trees and the birds and the lawn and whatever, right? And then it comes out into the sidewalk. And then look, there's where the daycare would be. It's directly across the street. So why, why wouldn't we have a raised crosswalk to bring all this like a long teetering line of, uh, of little two-year-olds uh, across the street here? But the city says it has no plan to make these changes. The city manager says the YWCA's next step could be to pay for a traffic study. The recommendations that come from that, though, he says the nonprofit would be on the hook for those too. The YWCA is not unique. We're not we're not sort of singling them out uh, as a as a proponent. Um, there would be other proponents in other parts of the city in which traffic studies are uh, are certainly requested if you're looking for. Altering, uh, altering a use for a new use. Uh, so we do do that as a practice. It's, a, it's an accepted uh, planning and engineering um, technique and requirement of proponents. The YWCA has said that it wishes the city flagged its concerns earlier in the process before it spent $90,000 on it. Van Dyne says he's confident the city did flag its concerns when it got a complete application in July. Despite the setback, the YWCA says it's committed to turning this home in Niven into a daycare. It's planning to file another application with the city to make that happen. Lini Lambrink, CBC News, Yellowknife.